Imagine drifting silently through the ocean when a massive shadow glides above you like a living spaceship, wings stretching wider than a car. There's no sudden attack, no flashing teeth, just calm, graceful movement. Now imagine another shadow, smaller and closer to the sea floor, perfectly camouflaged, hiding a weapon sharp enough to injure even the largest predators. Both are rays. Both look similar at first glance, yet one is often called a gentle giant, while the other carries a reputation that sparks fear. Today, we're diving beneath the surface to explore one of the ocean's most misunderstood matchups, manta ray versus stingray. They share the same flattened shape, wing-like fins, and eerie elegance. But their lives, behaviors, and dangers couldn't be more different. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. At first glance, manta rays and stingrays appear closely related, and in fact they are. Both belong to the group known as batoids, which also includes skates and sawfish. Their bodies are flattened from top to bottom, allowing them to glide effortlessly through water like birds in slow motion. But this is where their similarities begin to diverge. Manta rays are among the largest rays on Earth, with wingspans that can reach over 20 feet. Stingrays, on the other hand, range from small to medium-sized, with most species measuring only a few feet across. Size alone gives mantas a commanding presence in open water, while stingrays rely on stealth rather than scale. One of the most striking differences lies in where these animals live. Manta rays are open ocean travelers, often found cruising through tropical and subtropical waters far from the ocean floor. They are true pelagic animals, spending much of their lives swimming in the water column and visiting coral reefs mainly for cleaning. Stingrays prefer a very different lifestyle. Most stingray species live near the bottom, burying themselves under sand or mud in shallow coastal waters, river mouths, and even freshwater systems. This bottom-dwelling habit makes stingrays far more likely to encounter humans, especially swimmers and beachgoers who accidentally step on them. Diet further separates these two rays. Manta rays are filter feeders, meaning they eat tiny plankton, krill, and microscopic organisms by swimming with their mouths wide open. Specialized structures inside their mouths act like sieves, trapping food while water flows out. This feeding style makes mantas completely harmless to humans. They have no teeth designed for biting, no venom, and no interest in anything larger than plankton. Stingrays, however, are active hunters. They feed on crabs, shrimp, mollusks, and small fish, crushing prey with strong, flat teeth. Their hunting strategy relies on ambush, patience, and a powerful sense of smell. The most infamous difference between manta rays and stingrays is the presence, or absence, of a stinger. Manta rays do not have stingers. Despite their intimidating size, they lack any kind of venomous weapon and rely on speed and awareness to avoid danger. Stingrays, as their name suggests, possess one or more barbed spines on their tails, coated in venom. This stinger is not used for hunting but purely for defense. When threatened or stepped on, a stingray can whip its tail upward with surprising speed, delivering a painful and sometimes dangerous wound. This defensive weapon has earned stingrays a fearsome reputation, even though they are not aggressive by nature. Behaviorally, manta rays are among the most intelligent fish in the ocean. 
Studies have shown that mantas can recognize themselves in mirrors, a trait shared by only a handful of animals, including dolphins and great apes. They are curious, social, and often interact peacefully with divers. Stingrays are more solitary and cautious, preferring to remain hidden rather than engage. Their intelligence is geared toward survival, sensing vibrations, detecting electrical signals from prey, and reacting instantly to threats. While mantas face predators like sharks and orcas, stingrays must constantly be alert to avoid both natural predators and accidental human encounters. So what would happen in a direct confrontation between a manta ray and a stingray? In reality, such an encounter would be extremely unlikely. They occupy different habitats, eat different food, and live very different lives. But hypothetically, size alone gives the manta ray a massive advantage. A manta's sheer bulk and strength would dwarf most stingrays. However, the stingray's venomous spine is a serious deterrent. Even large animals respect that weapon. Still, manta rays are not aggressive and would almost certainly avoid conflict entirely, choosing escape over confrontation every time. When it comes to danger to humans, the comparison becomes even clearer. Manta rays pose virtually no threat and are considered one of the safest large marine animals to swim with. Stingrays, while still not aggressive, are responsible for most ray-related injuries simply because of their defensive stingers and their tendency to hide in shallow waters where humans walk. Most stingray injuries occur accidentally and can be avoided by shuffling your feet in sandy areas to warn them of your presence. In the end, manta rays and stingrays represent two very different survival strategies shaped by millions of years of evolution. One became a massive, peaceful giant drifting through open oceans, feeding on the smallest life forms. The other became a master of camouflage and defense, armed with venom to survive close encounters near the seafloor. Neither is a villain, neither is a monster, they are simply perfectly adapted to their environments. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.